Welcome everybody. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. It's the 14th of November, halfway through November, and then we got December left, and 2021 is in the books, man. Whoa. We are coming on live. We are doing our weekly watch list for our traders and members and anyone who is interested in trading. This is a time for Reed and I to go over, um, check out what we're looking at for the upcoming trading week, look for certain opportunities for setups, uh, potential profit makers. So since we are on that, let's go dive in. We've got some charts up. Oi, cans. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong button, man. Okay, cool. We got the Bitcoin chart. Um, daily chart right here. We peaked at 69,355. We bought them. We had a swing low at 62,000. So $7,000 down. Looks like it, it. we have a strong move going up again. So um, the bulls might be taking back or should be taking back momentum. Overall, it's been up since the beginning of October. Um, and it's been on a good run. So this is probably a healthy pullback. Long wick on the daily here. So lots of price rejection maybe or buys buys up. You know, price dip low. Let's we could zoom in. It's a two hour chart. Price we it probably got a bunch of um, sellers down here. Price consolidated a little bit, then dipped a little bit more. Long wick rejection back to a strong bullish movement. Let's go check out the S and P here. ES. Um, so we peaked up at forty seven hundred back in last uh, last week Friday or two weeks ago. Hovering, we're kind of a little bit of sideways in this action here. But the thing is, I take note we did peak at forty six twenty three, but uh, we did not have any significant lower closes. So it looks like we could just be in this tight range, this uh, little bit of range here um, overall. I'm still bullish on this market. So um, I will. I had to close on my positions because of uh, profit split on FTMO, but I am still going to be bullish when I get back in, see how that goes. So this is on daily, touch the top of the Keltner band. And then it had a strong move on, was this Friday, I believe? Strong move there. So strong close after um, a little bit of drop. So same for uh, NQ. You're going to see similar price action here. Hit a high pullback. Um, bears tried to bring it lower, but they couldn't. And so we had a strong close on Friday as well. Gold, I want to look at gold. This guy has been on a good move so this is a daily chart we broke out I was able to get some positions in at these arrows and I was riding the trend up as it moves began to go today on the pre-market open um, we had a slight we, we had a gap up at 1872 and then we're trading at 1860 to me it's it's just a normal activity of the markets nothing crazy to be worried about um, and there'll be a good position, a well, good place to be adding more positions if you want to enter on a pullback. Um, let's look at the Forex market. I am not in any Forex trades right now, but I was in Euro Odd long, I believe. I was trying to catch a swing up. Price did dump back down on Friday. Probably took me out, I think. I think I closed it, yeah closing on Friday so it, it might be continuing but that momentum back down euro yen same here it was consolidating a few uh, at the end of October and then price just continues to move down so right now it gapped down lower now it traded back up I'm anticipating this momentum to continue go short as far as the USD pairs, let's go look at USD yen. Um, it's been choppy. I, I've been staying out of this particular pair because it's been it hit a high um, end of October. 
consolidating choppiness. Price tried to move down, then it popped back up. And now it's continuing on the, this just figuring out where it wants to go, you know? So, so that one I'm just hanging out, checking it out. Not really doing anything there. Uh, pound yen I wanted to look at because it is a good pair to trade from from my personal view Right now. It's just trying to figure out it made a move lower But this little period right here isn't a good indication of the strength yet So we're just gonna see and see how it plays out there. And, um, I think that's what I got so far Reed Nice man, nice I don't have too much on my end. I only have Euro Odd. Very uh, easy, quick, short, simple, sweet. So what I'm seeing is an overall bear trend on the daily. This is the daily board up a bit. So this is the daily overall bear trend since the beginning of or mid-November. 11th November. Oh, my God. My bad, everyone. This is the hour. Here, this is the daily. It's actually gone up further. So 30 September is when this bear move just started and it's just been dropping since we had a small pullback in the beginning of november till november 9th um still bearish so it pulled back and now it's showing more bearish momentum so if i go down to four hour four hours breaking my emas not only did it just break my emas it also broke it in a very strong bearish momentum here so I like it. Volume was there. Candles there below the EMAs overall bear trend. So that's, you know, sign number two, go down even shorter, see what's happening on the hour, the hour showing a lot of high test rejection candles here. So if we zoomed in show bearish, the uh, bear momentum, tried to go back up rejection, back up rejection. And all below the EMAs, the 250 EMAs. So it's looking nice. This is an entry that I have set up on my FTMO account. It's a demo account. And then this is the 50 minutes. So it, you know, I'm just going off of like what could happen in the future, where I want to get in next. And if it, I see a rejection of this EMA, I'm going to continue short. Unless it's a strong opposite move. If we see this opposite move and it's bullish, then I'm just going to sit on the sidelines, wait for that bullish momentum to pass through to confirm that bullish momentum. But again, I'm just looking for shorts after this one gets, or if it gets entered in, then I'll be looking for a secondary short as well on this position uh, in a correlation with the 50 EMA. But that's it. That's all I have on Forex. Um, I, mean, I love crypto, always looking at crypto, Bitcoin and Ethereum. You know, right now it's just correcting strong bullish momentum. Um, I could see this going down, letting the 50 a one hour ride up, and then for it to excel forward into 65, 60, or back to like, you know, to 70. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not uh, going to predict any price where Bitcoin's going to go, but um, it looks strong bullish, bullish momentum. So, as well as ethereum ethereum is pretty much the same bias but we never know so we'll see nothing's ever for sure love it love it that's great and looks like lilic reed was about to go really in depth with breaking down euro odd you know that's a preview sneak peek of like what we do in our traders lab yo we do a solid breakdown of a trade that we are we're taking or we're gonna take um, and that's what we put out for you guys. Take note, uh, this coming week, Trading Topic Tuesdays, we're going to give you guys six things. Six things you need to have a great trading journey. To be successful in trading. We're going to give you six things for free. Um, help you guys out there. And you know, feel free to join us. Um, if you haven't yet, hit our contact a forum on our website hawaiitradingacademy.com sign up there get on the list that way we could just shoot you the zoom link and then we're going to be going live there on tuesday 7 p.m hawaii standard time um and that way you can stay in touch get in the loop of see what we're doing here at hawaii trading academy appreciate you guys have a great trading week